Hello and welcome to the Cloud Waitress video tutorial series. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your own online ordering system for your restaurant using the Cloud Waitress platform. So to start with, you want to visit our website. You can go to Google and type in Cloud Waitress or you can simply go to cloudwaitress.com and once you're on our website, you want to hit the Get Started button to create an account. So the first thing you want to do is enter your email address and password. Accept the terms and conditions and press continue. Now in the next step you're going to get a 5 to 6 digit email confirmation code that will be sent to your inbox. You want to go to your email address and once you get that code simply come back here and type it into the email confirmation field. When you're done with that you can complete the registration process. Now you're going to get taken to the online admin interface and this is where you can create and manage your restaurant and orders and bookings. The very first thing you want to do is create a new restaurant. So you want to give the restaurant a name. You want to pick a subdomain name for the restaurant. This will be located off the cloudwaitress.com domain and this is where you can initially find your online ordering website. But later on you can connect it to your own custom domain name. Once you're done with that, you can choose between Google Maps and custom addresses. For 99% of people, Google Maps will work perfectly. But if you're in a country in which Google is not very accurate, then you can hit the custom address type. Next, you want to search for your store address and select it. And enter your store phone number. If your store has one, I'll just put a dummy number. And then you want to configure your opening hours. Now, Essentially customers will only be able to place orders within your opening hours and so it's very important that you get this part correct. So so just for example I'm just going to set it up so it's open from Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. You have to enter the time in 24 hour format so just keep that in mind so, so 2100 is 9 p.m. And if you're open for a 24 hour period, you can simply tick the 24 hour period box. But to keep it simple, we'll just go from Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Next, you want to select the system locale, and this determines how all your dates and times are formatted. And so it's pretty important because, because customers of a different region generally expect dates and times to be formatted in a particular way. So ideally, you'll be able to find your country on this list over here. And you can go ahead and select that, but if you can't, you can simply choose English Worldwide. So I'll go ahead and select English Australia. Next, you want to find your time zone. This is also very important as the system needs to know your time zone in order to accurately display times. And it's very important for customers as well. You can choose your time formatting settings. So some places use 12 hour time and some places use 24 hour time. I'm going to leave it on 12 hours. And next is your date formatting. This is also important in Australia. We have a day, day, month, month, and then year. So you can rearrange this however you like, depending on how people in your particular area are used to seeing dates. And next, you want to select your store currency. I will go ahead and select Australian dollar. If you have a tax, you can create a tax over here. So in Australia, we have GST, and it's at a rate of 10%. And lastly, you want to choose whether or not your tax is in your prices or not in your prices. So if your tax is not included in your price, then it'll, it will be added onto your customer's cart at the end. So in Australia, we have tax and prices. So I'll go ahead and select that. And lastly, you want to choose your subscription plan. To start, you can pick the free subscription plan, which gives you 100 orders and bookings every month. And later on, when you're comfortable, at any time, you can come and change to the standard plan. So once I've selected and entered all that information, I can go ahead and create a new restaurant. Once your new restaurant is created, you can simply click it to enter the restaurant dashboard and this is where you can control all the specific settings related to this particular restaurant. So to start with, you can go ahead and take a look at your restaurant by simply hitting the view store button over here and that's going to open up your store in a new tab. So to start, it's completely empty and it's just set with our default theme. So you can eventually customize all this information but for now I'm going to show you how to just quickly set up a menu and place a test order. So head back to your admin dashboard and you want to head to the menus page. So to start with we'll create a simple menu and we'll just call it menu. 
Now, the name is only really important if you have multiple menus. So say, for instance, you might have a lunch menu or a dinner menu. But if you just have one menu, you can simply just call it menu over here and save that. Next, under your menu, you're going to want to create a category. So I'll create the category mains and I'll create the category drinks. You can create the categories however you like, depending, you know, different restaurant cuisines are going to have different categories naturally. And under each category comes a dish. So under mains, I'm going to create chicken breast for $10. And I can save that. I'll create a lamb shank. Twelve dollars. I'll put twelve fifty. Save that. And under drinks, I will create soft drink float. Sounds tasty, right? <laughs> Let's say four dollars. Okay. So now that you've set up a basic menu, you can kind of get the feel as to how you can go about the process from here. But we can just roll with this for now. And the next thing we want to do is we want to go to the order management interface. So just over here, selecting orders on the left nav bar. And now this is where new orders will come through and customers place them. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our online store and we can refresh the page. And now you'll see that the dishes you've created are already showing over here. And, and at this point, customers can already start placing orders. So as a customer, if you send them to your website, they can, they can go to your store URL they can come hit the order button. They can choose between their order type, select when they would like it. Because, uh, because we're not within the opening hours, the customer cannot place an order right now. They have to place an order for a later date within your opening hours. So you can select the date between Monday to Friday, select the time between 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. and start the order. From here, they can choose which dish they would like. I'll just add one of everything. They can head to the cart, confirm the items ordered, proceed to checkout, and over here just enter their details and select their payment method and place the order. Now when I place the order and I head back to the admin interface in the order management screen, we'll see that the second the order is placed, it's automatically going to come up over here saying that a new order was placed and the little red bounce happening over here kind of indicates that this is something that needs to be attended to. So I can go ahead and click the order and I can view the details and I can view the dishes ordered. And for the customer, they're gonna get their they're gonna get their real time receipt. And from here you can go ahead managing the order by changing the status and setting an estimated time when it will be ready. And that's just about it for getting started with the Cloud Waitress online ordering system. You can continue following along the support guides in our support center or continue uh, watching our video tutorials in order to see how to further customize your system how to further use it better.